supply chain crunch. And our next guest warns President Biden's vaccine mandate could turn the crisis into a catastrophe. Here now to explain, President and CEO of the National Association of Wholesalers Distributors, Eric Hoplin. Uh, Eric, thanks so much for joining the program. You know, it seems like early on when I was going into stores and they had things out of stock, they didn't want the customers to panic. They said, you know, we would get the stuff in. But now it seems like the writing is on the wall. So I guess my question is, how bad is it? Well, well, Lawrence, the supply chain is already stressed, and uh, the president's executive order uh, is telling companies uh, that do business with the government as a contractor uh, that they have to fire employees who aren't vaccinated by December 8th. And uh, what that's going to mean is that tens of thousands of people across the American economy uh, are going to lose their jobs just uh, weeks before Christmas. And, and in our industry, uh, where we're at the center of, of the supply chain to keep things moving, uh, at the busiest time of years, we're, we're trying to, to surge gifts and, and, and other material across the economy, uh, certainly is going to uh, even exacerbate the problems we're already seeing. And, and I'm afraid if the president doesn't amend the executive order, uh, Joe Biden may end up being the Grinch who stole Christmas. Yeah, so what, what are you guys going to do? To, to kind of fix this? Well, we're asking uh, for the administration uh, to uh, delay the, the implementation of, of the mandate, to, to give us time uh, to, to put it together, uh, but also to include a testing option uh, for those, uh, those who don't want to be vaccinated. You know, this is something that we've been working on tirelessly, is, is uh, we've been trying to, to help vaccinate uh, all, all of our uh, employees uh, across, uh, across the industry. We've brought uh, nurses in, into our, our warehouses and facilities. We've offered uh, bonuses and, and gift cards. I, I I had uh, one company uh, offer uh, free trips to Vegas uh, if uh, people would get vaccinated. And so we've done everything we can. And, and uh, they're telling us uh, that the, the government instructing them to get vaccinated just means uh, that, that, that they are willing to lose their job. And, uh, and so we, we think that's, uh, th that's why this uh, crisis is coming ahead. We, we believe in the vaccine. We think that's important. Uh, but, uh, but at the same time, we know that uh, if this uh, moves forward without being amended, uh, it's going to exacerbate the supply chain crisis we're already seeing. Eric, we've seen the administration take advice from union leaders as well as other special interest groups. So I'm just curious, when they decided to make this type of push for a mandate, did you guys have a seat at the table? Uh, look, we have we, we share uh, the, the the president's goal of uh, helping to vaccinate Americans. We think this is important. We want to save lives. We want to get the the, the country uh, back on track and the and the economy uh, back back on track. Uh, and 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 so we share the goal. Uh, but uh, but we just think that uh, this goal and the supply chain goal, keeping it moving, are are, are in conflict at this moment. And and so that's why the the mandate uh, we're, we're calling for for an amendment. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people support you know, getting Americans back healthy and getting that back to work. But it just seems like the administration is, is not taking the advice of you guys or any of the business owners and how it's going to impact uh, the, the big picture. Um, and, and that's kind of unfortunate. Thanks so much for joining the program, sir. Thank you, Lawrence. Great to see you. Likewise.